Hello. Um, I hope that many of you were previously using restrictions with your students. Um, you might have not noticed as you've updated to iOS 12 that restrictions has moved. Um, so it used to be here under general and now it is in this thing called screen time. So click on screen time just above general. Turn on screen time. And now screen time is on. You can make changes to content and privacy restrictions, but be aware that on this first screen, if you don't set a passcode, then your students can get into it without a passcode. So down here, use screen time passcode. So make sure you make something, and depending on your students, um, you might need a more secure password. So you can... Um, Disable installing, deleting, or in-app purchases. You can require that the password is always needed for iTunes or the App Store. You can set up content restrictions, um, so whether they're allowed to have clean or explicit music or movies, or whether they're allowed to have TV shows or movies. You can allow or not allow apps for certain age ranges. Um, you can restrict web content. You can add websites that are allowed. You can um, add websites that are not allowed. When you are trying to make sure that you aren't allowing the internet or certain things, you might want to make sure to turn, um, turn off letting Siri search the internet so they don't have a way around some of your restrictions. And um, you can, uh, you know, minimize some of the um, struggle over what they are in a lot are not allowed to access by setting up some restrictions in here. Uh, another thing that's useful, and I hope many of you use, is guided access, which is still in the same place. General accessibility, and then you scroll down to guided access and turn it on. So this will allow um, you to have a student set in one specific app. So if they're supposed to be working on one thing, once you have them in the app, you triple click the home button. And then you can um, you can choose to have different features. You can have a time lim limit if it's a reward, or you can make sure the volume buttons do or don't work if you have a student who's always turning up the volume. Once you hit start, you create a passcode. And now, even when the student hits the home button or the lock button, um, they stay in this app until you triple click the home button again to get out and enter your passcode. Hope those tools help you and your students to be more successful.